back. Uh, today we decided we were going to do an Earth Day inspired project. So we're going to upcycle these old cans. Doesn't really matter what size you have. We're gonna make some animals out of them so that we can hang them up in the yard as decorations or put them in the flower beds, stuff like that. So we're gonna start by making our bee first. So we're gonna take our yellow paint and we're gonna give our first can a coat and then probably it'll need a second one as well. All right. So for these, you can make your can, you can paint it whatever color you want, or you could just leave it as silver as well. We decided to paint ours. What color do you want, Noah? Blue. Blue? I'm gonna do Blue. mine in red. Okay, so now that our can is all painted, the next step is to add the black lines. So you can either use paint and paint them on, and you can kind of follow the ridges on the cans to keep them nice and straight. Or if you want to cheat a little bit, you could use black electrical tape too and just tape on some lines. Either way, it all works. Let's do it. Okay, so once your black paint is dry, your next step is going to be to take a nail and pound a couple holes in the can for however you want to stake it or hang it. If you want to hang it, um, you'll need to put two holes in the top. If you're wanting to put it in a flower bed and stake it, you'll need one in the bottom. For ours, we're going to do hanging ones. So you might need a parent's help with this. So you're going to just take a nail and a hammer and kind of pound some holes in it. So your two, you're gonna need right in the middle. You can kind of see I've got two there already. And then you're gonna to need to make another two a little closer to the front for the wings. Okay, so you can see I put two holes here for the string that we're gonna tie it. Put another two here for the wings. And I actually also put two on the bottom side just so he can have a couple little feet on there. Okay, so next we can work on the face. So basically you can take anything that you've got lying around. Um, I found some old buttons that I had and some beads. Um, so you can take these and you can glue them onto the front. Take your hot glue gun glue them on. I'm going to take these little beads 
then I'm gonna glue those on, make some eyeballs. There we go, looking kind of goofy. So for your feet, what I've done is I've taken a pipe cleaner and I cut it in half. So we're gonna thread it through the bottom holes. Like this. There we go. So now he's got a couple little feet sticking off of him. Um, and then you can take, I'm gonna take some black beads and I'm gonna kinda stagger them. gonna bend his feet kind of out kind of like that there we go so then I'm gonna take a black marker and give him a little mouth maybe you can give him some eyebrows or some eyelashes there we go Next is the wings. So you're going to take a pipe cleaner, kind of bend it, point the ends together and twist them. And then you can stick that into those front holes and kind of bend them into place. There we go. And then we're gonna grab some string and we're gonna thread it through those back holes so we can hang it. So I've got some white thread here. I'm gonna cut off a piece. And I'm gonna thread that through. Then you'll want to tie the one end into a knot. There we go. And it pulls on the end, and then we've got our little bumblebee to hang. So next we're going to work on our owls, so you can see my red cans all nice and painted. Again, you can find anything lying around to use for eyes. Um, this time I found some old jar lids. You could use like bottle caps, something bigger like that. So we're going to take two of these and we're going to hot glue them on for eyes. Then I'm going to use my buttons again and use them for the eyeballs. And then I found some rocks that were kind of beak shaped. So I'm gonna paint one of those and then we can use that in the center for our beak. All right.
go. For my guy, I'm gonna take a black marker and give him some eyebrows. Next, we're gonna work on the feet. So I found some old uh, pop can tabs. And actually, I'm gonna to glue them all together. Kind of make little feet like that. You could also take different items such as like an old fork or you could do it with beads again. But for this one, this is what I've decided I'm gonna do. Then we can take our feet and glue them to the bottom of our can. And we're going to take his painted nose and glue it on. And there's our owl. You could also draw some little W's on there for some feathers. And then again, depending on how you want to hang them or where you want to put them, you could just leave them like that. You could put a hole in the top to tie a string, just like the bee. Or if you just wanted to stick them on top of something, you could sit like that. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this little project. I think these guys look really cute, and they'll definitely add a little bit something to the garden. Alright, thanks guys!